GPAT 2017 Logical Questions from Organic Chemistry. So let us start with the first question. Which of the following dienes can undergo diels alder reaction most readily? So the options are A, B, C, D. So here the different types of dienes as well as a monoalkene are given as the options. So the right answer for this question is option A. So what is the diels alder reaction? What are the requirements for a compound to show the diels alder reaction? In order to show a diels alder reaction, the compound should have conjugated diene. And the compound should also have a configuration like cis diene. So cis diene can only show the diels alder reaction, whereas trans diene cannot undergo the diels alder reaction readily. So now, if you see the options given, option D, which is a single alkene, which is a monoalkene. So because it's not a diene, so it cannot undergo the diels alder reaction. So option D is wrong. And now option C is again wrong. Even if it is a diene, it is not a conjugated diene. So diels alder reaction is shown by conjugated dienes only. So option C is also wrong. And option B, we can see that it is uh, having the conjugated diene, but this diene is having trans configuration. It is not a cis diene, so it is a trans diene. So trans dienes cannot undergo the diels alder reaction readily. So the right answer for this question is the option A, which is a conjugated diene as well as which is a cis diene. And you can observe that what is the difference between the cis and trans diene. Cis diene means the double bonds are on the same side and trans diene is the diene where the double bonds are on the opposite side. Now in the option A, the given diene is the cis diene. And the compound in the option A can readily undergo the diels or reaction because it is not only a cis diene, it is a condensed diene. Condensed dienes are the dienes where the configuration is fixed by making the double bond into a cyclic form. Now it is a cyclohexadiene which is a condensed diene where the configuration cannot be changed to the trans configuration. So it mainly exists as a cis configuration. So it can readily undergo diels alder reaction. So option A is the correct answer for the given question. Which of the following compounds will be oxidized by chromium trioxide in acid? So the options are 4-methyl cyclohexene, 3-methyl 3-hydroxy cyclohexanone and 4-4-dimethyl 1-methyl 1,3-cyclohexane diol and 2-methyl cyclohexanone. So the right answer is the option C. Chromium trioxide. So chromium trioxide can react with the alcohols. It acts as an oxidizing agent, thereby it can convert the alcohols into the ketones. Now, these ketones can also be further converted into carboxylic acids by the reaction of the chromium trioxide. But it does not oxidize the alkenes and it does not react on the cyclic ketones. So in this way, you can find what are the options containing the alcohol. So here the option C is the cyclohexane diol, which is an alcohol, which can be converted into corresponding ketone. So this is the right answer for this question. Which of the following statement is true about the following reaction? The product will not have stereocenter. The product will have R configuration. The product will not have S configuration. The reaction will happen with racemization. So the right answer is the product will not have stereocenter. So you can observe it is a SN2 reaction. And the nucleophil is the OH minus and the leaving group is the obviously chlorine group. So SN2 reaction. SN2 reaction leads to the complete inversion of the configuration, what we call the Walden inversion. But this complete inversion of configuration is observed when the reaction takes place at the stereocenter. When the reaction takes place other than at the stereocenter, there is no inversion of the configuration is observed. 
So in the given compound, chlorine is the leaving group which is not present at the stereoactive center but which is attached to the CH2. So now when the reaction is going to take place at the chlorine, there is no inversion of the configuration takes place in this reaction. Now when this compound undergoes the SN2 reaction in presence of OH- where the chlorine group is removed with the OH group. So we produce the product like this. Now we can observe that because of the replacement of chlorine with the OH group, what are the groups that are attached at the stereoactive center are similar. So one is again the CH2OH that is already present in the molecule and then there is the CH2OH that is formed in the molecule by replacement of chlorine with the OH. Now because of the similar groups in the structure, the product is not stereoactive and it is not having the chiral carbon and it is not stereoactive. So option A is the right answer for the given question. The product is not stereoactive. So these are the various logical questions that were asked in the GPAT 2017.